This is our second trip with the uh, full self driving. Okay. It took it uh, like out a little fast yeah, again. Uh, you said it did it slower. Uh, On the way when, back. Yeah. On the way back. Okay. We'll, we'll see if it does it. So in reality, we should have no interventions from home to where we're going right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we will. Yeah, see how it's uh, often enough, eh? Yeah. It nags you often enough. Yeah, it, Maybe every 20 yeah, seconds or so. Or less, than, it's less than that. Yeah. It's just as often as what you should be looking in your mirrors and uh, what's around you. Right? And my personal opinion. Meters. Turn left onto People uh, road tend to forget how attentive driving actually is. Uh, yeah. You need to be paying attention every single second on the road, especially when you're moving at higher speeds. So it's now giving turn left onto a poor weather detected, so it's gave us a warning because it's raining over here today in southern Ontario. Uh, we've had a lot of rain over the past couple of days. So this is this is our what our fourth day with uh, fourth day yeah fourth day this will be the fourth day that we had it we're planning to uh, maybe taking it over into Toronto where there's more traffic uh, a little bit more challenging so we'll for how, sure see how it does there the environment and the the big city is In a lot more challenging. Meters, keep right to take There's a lot drive. more obstacles and uh, traffic congestion. Okay, see if it corrects itself here in that first time. Now keep right to take four drive. Okay. Oh yeah, got over a lot quicker this time already. Yeah, yeah. like it does time, learn. It, it yeah, does learn it goes along. It last gets time it did struggle, right? We saw the the struggle of it coming yeah. into the lane, and then we also had someone behind us pretty close. And I guess we should say that we're taking the same route that we did on the first video. Meters, yeah, we're going to the exact same place. Exactly. Right yeah. So let's, we're gonna yeah. see how see if the, there's improvements. Uh, exactly. And there Mind are, you, it. Yeah. It drove well. Again, we're coming into the, the challenging, more challenging merging situation here, where there's three merges here in a row that we have to get into. One right now, and then again, and then again. And then we have to also get over. We're also gonna try to get all the way over. We're gonna go from the very far right all the way over to the very far left eventually. Hopefully, well, that's what we're hoping. So, first lane merge no problem that one is pretty quick and it does take to use the whole merge which is okay because it gives you time to get up to speed and make sure it's okay to get over okay we got a little bit of traffic here so let's see what handles this merge okay slowing down appropriately no signal yet We're coming close <clears throat> wow <clears throat> That is aggressive, that was good. man. That, was good. <laughs> that is aggressive, and we have someone that's even more aggressive behind us that actually even <laughs> sneaked in. He that sneaked was, it in there. That was brutal. I mean, uh, I wouldn't go any further than what, what what we did, but the guy behind us was, was right behind pretty us. Pretty bad. Yeah. That's like that's how you shouldn't be driving. We used the end of the lane appropriately. That guy, he abused it. <laughs> truck moving in fast so I decided not to go which is good because I wouldn't cut in front of a truck moving fast either you gotta remember folks trucks have a lot less braking power they need way more time and space to stop 
we got over already to the hammer lane and it should get into this HOV lane. Uh, I would have been there already. Yeah, but. we would have been there already personally. But we're just letting it uh, drive and see what it does, but should have got over already. Now that opportunity is technically over. Solid line, double line, you cannot cross. So see if it gets over maybe in the next opening in the HOV lane here. You know, it will be nice when Grok is in her uh, an interface on this program on on this software here so you can actually command it kind of like you would uh, being a passenger or backseat driver yeah saying hey yeah. drive here drive there guess what that's what's coming next that that will be the next big thing that Tesla releases with this software in my opinion uh, the next biggest improvement because that is a huge uh, advantage to have to be able to communicate with the software through voice saying hey whatever the name of your your Tesla is whether it's Roadster or Roadrunner uh, you you say hey Roadrunner let's get into the HOV lane and then it turns into the HOV lane or whatever it is turn here bring me to a gas station uh, a convenience store that's what's uh, in my opinion that's gonna be the next big thing for the software you can kind of command it around also because that will help Here's an opening here for it to get over again, so nothing yet. Did get over for us the last time. Yeah. It's a yeah, it, it realized it, it realized it, it could get over, but now it's realizing that it can't. Because of the solid line. Yeah. It saw that the, the opening was there, it put a signal on, but that opening was very short and it ran out of time. But it's thinking. Yeah, exactly. So that's good. And at least it didn't make the... The important thing is that it doesn't put you in illegal situations where you're crossing a line like that. You can get a serious ticket. There's going to be another opening coming up in the next kilometer and we'll see if it jumps over because we can... The HOV lane is moving faster, so we, we can technically move better with traffic. Use less of the braking and everything, and just a smoother ride. Let's see, no. There we go. Let's go, baby. has a signal on but it doesn't seem to want to go finally made its decision to get over interesting yeah but yeah the end of this journey is where it will be interesting when it has to cross four lanes of traffic and uh, it's wanting to get over out of this lane again I think it would Maybe it's because of that those workmen on the other it side. It could have I wonder. been uh, a safety thing for it to just get over there because of that. I wouldn't put that out of uh, scope. But let's see if it hops back in. The pro driving tip for everyone in Ontario that in the HOV lane there's two lines. And then in between those two lines, every certain amount of space is about 100 meters or less, 50 meters, sorry. That is the space you need between the vehicle in front of you and behind you to judge your space. That was really good. Yeah, and time. moved over into this lane nicely. Well, that was quick, decisive. Yeah, yeah, because we do, traffic is moving behind us, right? Personally driving, I, I also would have exited the lane there. Yeah, there's three kilometers to our exit, so it's probably getting yeah, ready to exactly. kind of go across. Because we are stretching across four lanes of highway here, right? So it, so it figures that the next the next uh, 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 line that's right now it's solid, so we could not turn in here. Exactly. Uh, might be too close to the exit. For, exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I'm hoping it's actually continues to maneuver over as we uh, get closer to our 
exit. Okay, good. Now is a good time for it to get over. It should get over now. Yep, and it should continue to move over shortly. It should stay out of this lane for a second because there is a mer two merging lanes that come up to the highway here, so it tends to slow down. So yeah, it's doing okay. I'm sure it's gonna. So this is a little. This is a tight one here. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> wow, I handled that beautifully. Like. Even me just driving in situations like that, it gets hairy because trucks, it doesn't take much movement for them to start heading into your lane with how big they are. And uh, that was, yeah, that was pretty well handled. All right, good. I mean, uh, not the safest spot for it to get over in my opinion I could have waited a little longer because of that lane beside us that is ending with a merge there could have been a car coming in at the end there and that's where you have to watch out okay let's see oh, it does want to get over again okay no signal though interesting yeah that's very human like okay All right so that was a little sloppy a little sloppy there got into that lane uh, luckily, there's no one beside us. Okay. Sure, if there was, it would have sensed that. I would have sensed that. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Yeah, exactly. I did notice that I went by a garbage can the other day, and it actually it, it moved sensed over. it and yeah, moved out yeah. a little bit. Yeah. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the right. See if we can't find this thing a parking spot, huh? Okay, handle the turn very nicely, smooth, nice and you know. Don't feel now your destination is on the left. Don't feel rushed at all. Alright. Let's see what it says here. Into the parking lot. Let's see, I wanna I like to let's try to park between two cars here. Yeah, it came it's coming up. So, yeah, so it's available. Any spot now. Yeah, so I have to pass though. Yeah, but it tells you. There you go. P, hit it. P, okay. Yeah, it's going to shift to reverse. Start. Action. Okay. Okay. Make sure you have your foot on the brake, man, just in case. <laughs> you fucking never know. Wow, that's crazy, crazy good. And there's yeah. people walking in front of us. Didn't and our hesitate. buddy, our car here in the white has his. Yeah, this is a pretty poopy spot. We're gonna get out of it again, but we'll see. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so we just parked between two cars. That's crazy. Oh, it it did. Wow. <laughs> 